and welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving a very important joints sequel interview question if you are a beginner or at an intermediate level or even at an advanced level this is a very important question no matter if you're a fresher or if you have experience you need to know the answer to this question because it's a very commonly asked interview question when it comes to sequel the question basically tests your knowledge on how much you understand joints. If there are same numbers in both the tables, how how does the join work? And if there are nulls in one table or in both the tables, how does the join work? So let's begin. So these are the two tables that I have, cast 1 and cast 2, and both have the same column ID. I'm inserting the same values, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. So the first table cast 1 has 3 11s, the second table cast 2 has 2 11s. Now how will the join work? If I simply write join, what is join doing? Join will look for each match in the second table, so 11. How many matches does this have in the second table? 11, it has 2, 2 times, so 11, 11. Again this 11 will match with the second 11. Then the second 11 from cast 1 will match with both 11s. Then this 11, the third 11 from cast 1, will match again with both 11s from cast 2. So our output will have 3 into 2, 6 records. So this is our output. Now if I write left join, what will left join print? Now left join, what it does? It will give you all the records that you're getting from the inner join and Apart from that, you will also get all those columns from the first table, from the left table, that do not have any match in the second table. But in this case, all the columns from the first table had a match in the second table. Hence, the output will remain same. If we run this, the output is same. Now, if I write right join over here, Again, the output will remain same because the right table, the second table, has a match for every record in the, in the first table. Hence, the number of records will be same because there is no other record in the right table that does not have any match. If it had, that would have come in our output. Now, if I write full outer, full outer join. Now full auto join is all the matching records plus whatever is not matching in both the tables. But in this case, it is matching with uh, all the columns, all the records are matching. Again, the output will remain same because all the records are matching in both the tables. Now if I add one new column over here, 33. Now let's run different kinds of join now this is inner join now what will inner join do inner join the, these are our records from both the tables cast 1 and cast 2 what will join do it will see for each record in the first table is there a match in the second table so 11 11 sorry 11 has a match second 11 also has a match this 11 also has a match so 3 into 2 6 records but 33 does not have a match in uh, in the second table Hence, that will not come in our output. But if I write left join, now we will have a different output. If I write left join, what is left join doing? Left join, you will get all the records, the output that you got in the inner join, you will get that. But along with that, you will also get all the records from the left table, the first table, that do not have a match in the second table. So 33 does not have a match in the right table in the second table but since this is a left join we will have that in our output so 33 and it does not have any match hence there will be null over here now if i write right join again right join would be all the records from the inner join whatever output you got from the inner join along with that whatever is not matching from the right table from the second table but there is no record from the second table that is not matching hence the output will just have these records 6, 3 into 6, 3 into 2, 6 records. Now if I write full auto join, full auto join, what will full auto join do? It will have 
the output from the inner join along with that all the rackets that are not matching in both the tables in this case only 33 is not matching and that will be in our output but now if i write Five. and if I write left join left join oh I'm sorry this has to be cast to um, so our first table has three elevens and one thirty three second table has two elevens and one fifty five when we do left join all the matching records will be will be the part of our output along with that whatever is not matching so 33 but now if i write right join over here all the records that are matching that will be our output so 3 into 2 6 along with that whatever is not matching from the second table that is 55 so 55 will come over here and whatever is not matching will not it did not have any match matching record from uh, in the first table hence null will come over here now comes the tricky part now let's add some null values i'm adding one null so whatever is joining that will come in our output when we are using inner join when we are using inner join all the matching records will come in our output so 3 into 2 so only 11s are matching hence that will come in our output if i write left join left join will have all the matching records records along with that whatever is not matching in our case 33 and null is not matching so that will come in our output let's run so this is our output so our output has 33 and null since 33 and null did not have any matching records in the second table hence that will come in our output because we are using left join now if i use right join 11 is matching hence that will come in our output 55 is not matching but since we are using right uh, right join so all the records from the right table will come in our output so 55 will also come in our output now let's add one null in the second table now here is the tricky part will this null join with this null no it will not because null is not a value it is just empty it is just no value now let's run this we have our first table has these values 11 11 11 33 null second table has 11 11 55 null and our output will not have any nulls even though both the tables have nulls it will not join because null is no value it is empty it has no value so it will not match with the null in the second table this is our output now left join left join will have all the matching records the result will be the same as inner join but along with that whatever is not matching from the first table which is 33 and null so as you can see over here 33 and null will come in our output and since it is not having any match matching record in the second table the values will be null over here if i write right join so our output will be the same as inner join but along with that whatever is not matching so in this case 55 and null were not matching so 55 and null will come in our output whatever is and it was not matching hence null values will come over here now let's go one step ahead let's add another null in our first table run our first table has two nulls second table has one null but even though both the tables are having null they will not join because null is not a value so this will be the output of our inner join only the matching records will come in our output if i write if i write left join over here so the output will remain same and along with that whatever is not matching from the first table will be in our output so in this case 33 and the two nulls so 33 and two nulls and since it is not matching we will have nulls over here now if i write right join same output same logic will be applied over here all the matching records along with that whatever is not matching from the second table so 55 and null and over here we will have nulls now if i write full auto join full auto join is all the matching records along with that whatever is not matching from both the tables will come in our output so in this case 33 null null 
and then 55 and null whatever is not matching will have nulls so this is our output i hope this was clear this is a very 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 important question so make sure you know the answer make sure you understand the logic of joins i have a playlist where i've solved a lot of lead codes in sql specifically for joins so that you understand joins better there is a playlist so go check it out it has videos ranging from beginner level to advanced level so go check it out